Michigan's next governor is meeting with the current one to talk about the transition. His team will include some political pros who are very familiar with the state capitol. Also, Republicans across the nation are still surfing the wave of resentment that's washing ashore on Capitol Hill. Control of the House will be changing hands. Governor-elect Rick Snyder is reaching back to the Englert administration as he builds his transition team. Action News reporter Mary Conway joins us now with the latest. Mary? Governor-elect Snyder is, is adamant that they need to start addressing economic problems first to try and restore hope to Michigan. He's appointing some familiar names to help fix what he says is broken in Michigan. These are people that you couldn't find better people in the entire state. So I'm very proud to have them on board and excited to work with them. Governor-elect Rick Snyder is choosing three veterans as key members of his transition team. All are well-versed in both the public and private sector. Doug Rothwell will help guide the effort. He's considered an expert in economic development. Rothwell's wife, Sharon, will also be on the team. Governor Engler's former chief of staff, she is currently a vice president with Masco. And Mark Murray is currently the president of Meyer. Doug's going to handle the overall responsibility. He's chairing the effort. Um, Sharon, in particular, has great experience with the executive office and all those kind of issues and topics. She was chief of staff for Governor Engler. And then Mark Murray was both budget director and treasurer for the state. It is a, a great way to bring a service back to the state of Michigan, a state that has been so good to me. Uh, but also, it's such a pleasure to do it for a friend. Governor-elect Snyder also met with Governor Jennifer Granholm today to discuss the transition. Governor Granholm also made suggestions to help make the personal transition go smoothly as well. She actually talked about having how they have three kids, and their kids are about the same ages as ours, and how she actually she and her husband would be happy to sit down to give us some thoughts on the issues they faced and how they dealt with them, and I, I thanked her for that, and I look forward to having that discussion because it's important. I mean, that's where I do really appreciate my family being part of this whole process and working together on it, um, and how we're all going to work together to make Michigan great again. Now coming up on Action News at 6, you'll hear what their immediate plans are and how Rick Snyder views Detroit in this equation. I'm Mary Conway. Joanne, back to you. All right, Mary, thank you.